welcome to Weather in April. My name is April Norman and I'm here today to talk to you about intracranial hypertension. Intracranial hypertension is a condition where your spinal fluid in your body increases. It's called idiopathic, which means it pretty much happens for no reason whatsoever. It's also called pseudotumor cerebri, which means false brain tumor. And that's because the symptoms mimic a brain tumor. Now, spinal fluid is what cushions your brain and your spine, so if the levels are too high, it can cause excruciating pain. Um, spinal fluid can't push outward when it increases because it can't go through your skull, so instead it pushes on your brain and all of the nerves and soft tissue all around it. And your spinal cord, it's not bone that surrounds your spinal cord, it's some tough matter called the dura, and your spinal fluid pretty much can't go through that either. So instead, it, when it increases, it just causes a whole lot of inflammation and pain. This condition is rare. There's only about one in every 100,000 people who have it. Although I do believe the numbers are much higher. I think a lot of people aren't speaking up. A lot of people are probably going misdiagnosed because I was for months. Um, people probably are thinking they're just having a headache when really it's something much different. Uh, in order to be diagnosed with this, typically you have to have a spinal tap, and that's going to measure the levels of spinal fluid in your body. It can also cause relief for a lot of people. And the typical range for a person is about 12 around that area. Uh, they measure it in millimeters of mercury. Anything higher than, say, the upper 20s is considered high spinal fluid pressure. So that's the way that they would determine it for you. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, I have no medical degree, so if you think you have this condition, having any symptoms, any health issues at all, please seek a medical professional first and foremost. My job with Weather in April is to provide awareness for people. There's currently no cure for this condition, so I want everybody to be able to educate themselves about what can happen in your body and start putting our heads together to narrow things down about why this happens and how we can fix it. So please feel free to share this, help me get the word out, reach out to me if you think you have this or if you do have this, I'd love to hear from some people. You can follow, share, like, subscribe, all of that, but the main thing is we're trying to spread awareness for this. And of course you can find out more at weatherinapril.com. Thank you so much, you guys.